I'm Lotta and you're watching Lotta X Annie. So as you can tell by the way I'm dressed with a blazer on, I am doing Mycroft's character arc. I don't actually have a suit but I was tempted to put on a suit today but I just put on something half decent. So you can tell I'm doing Mycroft today. So in season one we first meet him through John in episode one, A Study in Pink where they're in the warehouse and he is introduced as Sherlock's arch enemy which led a lot of people to think he was Moriarty right at the start but by the end of the episode we actually find out that he is Sherlock's big brother. Essentially the whole of season one he's very cold and um, he's not loving although he states that he cares about his baby brother to John um, so there's not much kind of Mycroft interaction in season one. Then on to season two and at the et end of episode one it sees him caring and not really wanting to know, I, like Sherlock, to know that Irene is dead. Uh, which is a scandal in Bulgaria if you guys don't know. He initially wanted to be a pirate. So what might we deduce about his heart? And although that's nice and all, but although Early in the episode he did tell Sherlock that caring is not an advantage. So then it goes on to episode 3 where we see him losing his baby brother. But we see him alone reading a paper and it's obviously one of the papers that talks about Sherlock being a fraud. And at that point we all think that Mycroft is really upset that he's lost his brother, that's why he looks so downtrodden, when in actual fact we know that he knows uh, Sherlock is alive but uh, I think he's just upset about the fact that everyone's calling his little brother a fraud when he knows just how smart his little brother is. Then on to season three. Episode one shows him playing games with Sherlock and um, it starts to see Mycroft's softer side. Um, we see it kind of coming out. Uh, we see this all through the whole season, uh, especially in episode two where he's reminding Sherlock not to get involved with John's wedding, kind of not get more involved than he already is due to the fact that he is very much, I think Mycroft knows that Sherlock is really really cares for John and this is the first time he's maybe ever felt this and in episode three we see him telling Sherlock that your loss would break my heart. Um, to which Sherlock replies with what the hell am I meant to say to that and you know Mycroft being Mycroft just says Merry Christmas then on to the special episode The Abominable Bride and we see that Mycroft is always going to be there for Sherlock not ma no matter what even if he isn't the friendliest guy that we know right on to season four I had so many expectations for season four of what I actually wanted and the more we get the more my expectations go right down so since we last did this um, we've had San Diego Comic Con and the Sherlock panels and we've also had the trailer has anyone else freaked out about the trailer? Uh, if you haven't seen the Sherlock trailer where the fuck have you been? I will link it down below for you to watch Oh my god. Right, anyway, I don't know what Mycroft is going to do, but I do know that he obviously upsets Mrs. Hudson. And, you know, Hudders has some good lines, especially like, oh, but the best line she's ever done was in that freaking trailer. Get out of my home, you reptile! I was like, Hudders. As much as I love Mycroft, like that was the best line Hudders has ever come out with. Um, I was hoping to see Mycroft get softer this season and maybe show off his goldfish, who we will be discussing next week, uh, next week, next month. But I sincerely doubt it. Uh, I thought after the abominable bride, when he was really soft in the plane, I thought, excuse this lighting, by the way, I thought he'd be getting a bit softer. Yeah, obviously not. Um, I think Mycroft may get injured or turn darker or in worst case scenario he may die uh, but I don't think that would happen <laughs> I hope um, 
But we obviously know uh, Stephen Moffat and Mark Gatiss, who plays Mycroft, have already told us that this is going to be the darkest season yet. And I am essentially not sure if I'm actually prepared for this. Uh, I know I'm doing this series and stuff, this is my fourth part of this series, but I actually essentially do not think I'm ready for season four. I really don't. So um, yeah, join me on Monday when I look through my memory box, which I filmed earlier today, and uh, that was fun. Uh, but yeah, so I'm freaking out essentially. I don't know about you folks, but I'm essentially freaking out and I don't know what to do. So yeah, freaking out totally freaking out. Yeah, so I will see you guys on Monday with my looking through the memory box. See you then. Bye!